Hey, welcome back everybody. This is a newer PC game, but the reason that I'm, I'm playing it and showing it to you is because this game has been called the spiritual successor to Red Storm Rising. And Red Storm Rising was a game that I played heavily on the Commodore 64 as well as the Amiga 500. I love that game so much. I, I just, I lost hours playing Red Storm Rising. So I, I really, when I heard about this game, I bought it, checked it out, liked it a lot. And I want to show it to you here on this channel. It's not retro, but because it is, uh, you know, the spiritual successor to Red Storm Rising, I figured why not? Let's uh, take a peek. So let's jump in. We're just going to do a single mission. Um, takes place in 1999. We're going to perform a strike with cruise missiles to deliver a crushing blow deep in the People's Republic of China's backyard. Um, basically, they want us to uh, make sure that we got some Tomahawk land missiles, and we want to fire eight of them. Um, they also want us to engage enemy warships, all that fun stuff uh, that could be out there against us. Our submarine that we're going to be using is a Sea Wolf. Um, there are various submarines that we can use. There's an approved Los Angeles class, um, the standard NFL 2 Los Angeles class, and the Sea Wolf. We'll go with the Sea Wolf. That was the default for this mission. Um, and over here, it tells you some of the particulars about this uh, this particular boat and some interesting things. We won't get into that because we want to jump into the action and get this game play video going. All right, so we have a channel. Okay, here's some particulars. Our depth, 291, our, our 291 feet. Our heading is 150 degrees, speed 5 knots. Uh, the the sea conditions, overcast and calm, very strong surface duct, very strong thermal layer at 236 feet, which we are below. This helps us um, stay a little more quiet from uh, surface ships, aircraft, helicopters that are, drawing, that are dropping uh, uh, sonar buoys and stuff like that. We are going to give our uh, weapon loadout a quick look here. We do have our Tomahawk land missiles right here. We have uh, eight standard uh, Tomahawk. We got the harpoons. We got some noisemaker decoys and we have some torpedoes. So I'm gonna load over a couple noisemakers just to have them ready. And I'm also gonna load in a couple standard Tomahawks to have them ready. All hands battle stations, let's do this. Sonar, new contact bearing, zero, zero, five, designated Sierra, one. Okay, here is the surface. It is calm and overcast, just like they said. All right, down here in the sub, that's us right there. Pretty cool. And let's take a look at the conditions over here. We Con, are sonar, new contact bearing, zero, six, three, designated Sierra, two. Okay, here's our overall tactical map. We have to launch missiles four here and four down here. Four up in this, this uh, sector and four down in this sector. We already got a couple surface contacts, it looks like. This is what this is, S1 and S2. You see that yellow line coming down. That means that they're actively, they have active sonar going and we're detecting it in this ship as well. So, we can do a few different things Con, here. Sonar, new contact bearing, contact. one, six, eight. Designated Sierra 3. All right, so it's not an overly technical game. Um, we can click on S1 here and we can check its signature against the database and we can try and with the computer will do it for us with time or we can try to figure things out for ourselves by just uh, flipping through and comparing signatures. Uh, the better sound, the better we can hear, the better uh, signature we receive here, um, the more these lines will line up and be more solid. I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but that looks like it's a fast frigate. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as escort. And we'll see what this thing is. It's also shooting uh, active sonar, or pinging active sonar, so 
that is an enemy ship. I just don't know what it is. You can wait for the computer to identify it. Your onboard uh, computer on your sub, or you can try to figure it out yourself. I like to try to figure it out myself because uh, just curious, right? Before I start launching missiles and torpedoes and all that good stuff. I don't know what that is. Did I go right by it? sure on this one. It's close on a couple, but I don't know. It might be one of these. I'm Con sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as escort. I can select the classification and then later if I'm wrong and over time uh, the onboard uh, signature computer, the computer that you know does this work for you automatically in the background will correct it. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm not going to say the name because I will butcher it. You can also you have a ship database up here that you can uh, do some comparing on these different things right here for the ships. It's got guns, all right. Very noisy. That's probably why we can hear it. The other one, the Zheng Hu, Zhang He, fast frigate. I can't say those names. I'm gonna try. All right, let's get this third one classified really quick. As soon as I start launching my missiles toward those surface targets, these guys are gonna go nuts and they're going to start shooting torpedoes and all kinds of other stuff over at me. Aircraft will show up. Con sonar Sierra 3 is classified as escort. I'm not sure if that's what that is. It might be. Or it could be a troll. Con sonar Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. I wasn't watching to see if it was pinging me. Like the other two were. Either way, we're gonna launch on these guys. Shoot two one, aye sir. Give you this image here, what this looks like when we launch, right? So that's always kind of cool. We'll launch on this guy. Shoot two two, aye sir. So there we go. We got a couple torpedoes away. down to 400 feet. Make depth four zero zero feet. Dive by. And then I'm going to come this way. I'm going to turn all the way back around. Come right to three one eight helm I. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay. Here we go. The game has begun. I like these kind of games. I like these uh, simulator type, you know, war game type games. They're fun. I think that's one of the reasons why I really liked Red Storm Rising back in the day. My father... Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 3. Last bearing. 1. 7. 6. Contact faded. My father was in the Navy and back when I was a kid he took me on a few trips um, with him out to San Diego and I spent a week Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 3, bearing 1, 7, 6. I spent a good week out in San Diego with them. Um, and he took me on all kinds of ships, aircraft carriers, uh, frigates, tenders, fleet hospital ships, submarines. I was even on a submarine. It was an older permit class or sturdy Con, class. dive at 4, zero, zero feet, dive by. But I've always had a, a fascination and interest in this kind of stuff, so I think that's why I've always liked these games. But here we go. Let's speed things up a little bit because this could be a long video if I don't. F9 uh, speeds things up. You can see everything moving a little quicker. I can also control the torpedoes angle them and give them direction which I'm going to do right now and I'm not even sure if these are going to reach they may not I'm going to load up a couple more tomahawks here because so I think we're going to go a little shallow it's got to be at 200 feet to launch 
to launch uh, tomahawks and harpoons vertically out of the submarine. But we'll speak. Con, torpedo. Con, helm, steady course. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Dive by. We'll stay below the, uh, the thermal layer, the, the surface duct. Con, fire control, okay. weapon acquired. Here we go. Now I can go in and look at these torpedoes as they're approaching. There's the ship. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. Zero, two, and four. Like I said, I can control them. The ships are, are capable of evading. They can do maneuvers. They can drop decoys and, and various things. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. As you would expect. And we can control our torps because they're on a wire. So we can put them back on target as long as the wire isn't cut or lost, right? <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is uh, the spirit. They're saying it's the spiritual Con, successor. Dive at two, five, zero feet, dive by. Red storm rising. Let me know down in below. Con, uh, noise maker bearing zero, two, six. That one's going down, boys. Okay, let me Con, go. sonar lost contact. Sierra, two, last bearing, zero, right, where seven, they? four. There it contact is. Way breaking up. Off in the distance. That's cool. All right. Very cool. So I am going to load over on my land, my Tomahawk land missiles to get those things going. Get them loaded up. Because we got to launch eight of them. Eight total. Four at each target. And we have to do that at 200 feet. It takes a little time to get these things loaded over. I suspect there's an enemy sub out there somewhere. I really do. So I'm going to do a ping here. We're going to keep an eye on our tactical layout. Ready? Con sonar, switching to active search. We'll do a couple pings. Con, con sonar, switching to passive search. Go back to passive. Now, if we get a bounce back on something, hopefully we'll see it here. Doesn't look like it. All right. I'm going to come around again. Come right to one, one, six. Helm, I. This time I'm going to come up above thermal Make layer. Depth two, zero, zero feet, dive by. Con, torpedo room, tube two, ready. All right. Okay, we're getting our missiles loaded over. I'm gonna speed things up. Con, torpedo con, dive at two, zero, zero feet, dive by. Sometimes you can see the airplanes if there's any out there just by looking around. That guy's still burning. There's Con, there. torpedo room, tube five ready. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's something moving across the screen right there. It's a, it's an aircraft. They're hunting us. Hopefully we'll get our missiles out Con, of here. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. Con, helm, steady course. Con, torpedo right. room, 
tube eight ready. So let's launch one of these bad boys. We're gonna shoot it off over at this target. I can do it from this screen down in my tactical map, or I can go right here, do the same thing. But I'm gonna do it from here so that you guys can see, you know, what it looks like. We're gonna launch one this way. Shoot two one, aye sir. There it goes. I thought these went vertical. They don't. Right, and that one's off. I'm gonna give that one time to go, and I'm gonna shoot one over here. Shoot two two, aye sir. And I'm gonna shoot another one back this way. Shoot two three, I'm gonna spread them aye, out sir. a little bit. Shoot two four, various aye targets. sir. The missiles will find where they're going for. Shoot two five, aye sir. But this is gonna bring shoot the two, plane. Six. Aye sir. Oops. This is gonna bring the planes and helicopters and who knows what else. Shoot two seven, aye sir. So we'll do this last one. Shoot two eight, we'll go up. aye sir. We'll take a look at what everything looks like. I can also follow the missiles, as you can see here, as they travel to their targets. But we got to get back to the to the sub and load over some decoys. A couple couple torpedoes. There's a plane coming. I also want to load in a couple harpoons and one big boy tomahawk. Here he is. He's going to start looking for us. So we're going to go deep. We're going to go deep and hide. 900 feet. Make depth 900 zero, zero feet. Dive high. And we're going to change our course come around and head off to the west. Come right to two, seven, six, helm I. And we're gonna put a little speed on. Make turns for one, zero knots, maneuvering I. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero knots. All right. Make turns for one, five, Knots maneuvering eye. That's pretty good. We'll get Con out of maneuvering, here. Maneuvering, making turns for Let's one, watch the missiles. five, Here's some knots. Missiles coming in to their target areas. Yeah, I just love playing Red Storm Rising. Um, back Come when on, I torpedo room, two, two, ready. Back when I started this channel, um, one of the earlier gameplays that I put out. Uh, was some um, Red Storm Rising gameplay. I think it was from the Amiga. It was on the Amiga 1200 emulator that I put it out. So if you want, go back and check that game out. Um, if you're not familiar with Red Storm Rising, and if you are, and you want to, you know, see it in action again, I know there's lots of YouTube videos Con, out there. Helm, steady course. Okay, there's one. Another missile coming in. Coming over here. To Con, the torpedo room, tube three, ready what that one's doing or where it's at. It must be flying off to the other, other location that's a little further away. Very cool though. You get the idea. We are still diving. Nope, we have reached our depth. I'm gonna pull back on the speed. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering up. Will allow us to hear a little better with our sonar. I still think there's a there's an enemy. Con submarine. torpedo room tube four ready. Or potentially a ship further off in the distance that we can't see. So we got to be careful. Meanwhile, our other missiles are going in. Let's speed things up a little. Con maneuvering, making turns for five. Not. Con, torpedo room, tube seven ready. Con, torpedo room, tube eight ready. Right, some more missiles coming in. Speed it up. Slow it down. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, I know I don't have a lot of followers here. It's been a while since I posted routinely and hoping that this channel will grow enough so I can get some like-minded people, you know, like myself that's into this kind of stuff, following, commenting, because that would just be 
Sweet. But I'd love to, you know, anytime you come across this video, let me know what your thoughts are of it. If you played, you know, Red Storm Rising, Red Storm Rising, and you, you haven't heard of this game, but you're seeing it firsthand from this video, I would love to know what your thoughts are on it. I think that's it. I think all the missiles went in. We did it. We are clear. There might be an enemy out there. Let's go up and take a quick peek, shall we? Let's go up to 50 feet. We'll do a radar check. Make depth 5, 0 feet, dive high. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Alright, once again, let's speed this up. Of course, if, I don't know if you're, how well you're seeing this on the screen, but over here on the left, this is our where we control a lot of the submarines' uh, controls. You know, we got speed. Um, this tells us our, our course, our speed, our depth, rudder angle, plane angle, our ballast. If there's any contacts out there, our weapon data for like our torpedoes and things like that. Of course, I can plot a course. I can rig silent uh, running on and off. If I hit silent running, if I'm loading up, if I'm doing repairs over here, or if I'm loading uh, ordnance, it'll stop to be absolutely quiet on the submarine. It helps you, you know, it's be a little more difficult to detect. I got the different uh, speed settings that I can choose. I don't have to use these presets. I can control it on the keyboard and fine-tune things. Uh, on this tab, I can set the depth. This information stays Con, the same. Sonar regained contact on. Sierra 3, bearing 1, 7, 9. Okay. Um, I can do an emergency dive. I can do emergency blow, which is pretty cool. You come shooting out of the water. Max speed, you know, full, uh, full release of ballast. Um, periscope depth. I can set to periscope depth, which I'm going to do here at 50 feet. And of course, over here, I can on the periscope tab, I can control things like my radar, um, uh, my ESM, electronic uh, countermeasure system mass. I can detect radar and things with that and whatnot. I got my uh, periscope. I got some decoys that I can drop, noisemaker decoys, and of course my active ping. Con sonar, switching to active search. Which we just pinged off one really quick. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Okay, so now I am going to kick up. Raise the ESM mast. ESM mast. You can see it come up right there. Raise the radar mast. We are detectable, so planes will probably be coming soon. And the radar mast is up. So that is a trawler. I'm glad I didn't blast away at it. And I also have Upscope. the periscope that I can look through if I want to. Magnify. There's nothing out there to see where I'm at, though, so no big deal there. Down scope. All right, let's get out of here because the more lower the, the ESM mast. Doing this makes you detectable. Lower the radar mast. So let's do a quick emergency dive. We'll show you what that looks like. Con sonar. We are cavitating. When you do that. It sets your speed to max, and your planes and ballasts, everything's, you know, the, the max Con negative. sonar lost contact. Passing 100 feet. And you dive really super fast. You just go deep. Look at that thing drop. Passing 200 feet. It won't stop. You have to stop it. So you got to be really careful. Passing 300 feet. And, of course, I can turn with the keyboard. Con knuckle formed. I can do knuckles. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Once you're deep enough at this speed... Passing 600 feet. We'll go down to 800. Whoops, Passing 700 feet. Went a little too fast. We're going to go right past it because we were Con diving knuckle so fast. Formed. And there is crush depth in this game, so you don't want to... You don't want to... You don't want to test things too much. <laughs> Con, knuckle formed. You do have to do, it gets hairy. You got torpedoes coming in on you, depth charges being dropped. You do have to get a little crazy and do some maneuvering in this game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Here you can hear him up there. See? There he is. He's Con, sonar, torpedo in the water. Here torpedo we go. in the water. Bearing, three, three, four. 
it's coming down too. It's gonna find me. So let's do God, some maneuvering. Knuckle formed. We'll go down. Peak depth one zero 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 feet. Die by. Get this zoomed in over here. We'll show you a little. Uh, he's gonna probably hit us. <laughs> Cause that was goofy. God, around. knuckle formed. Passing 900 feet. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, five knots. Make depth one, two, oh, zero, zero feet. Die by. Did I evade him? I might have Con evaded. knuckle formed. Passing 1,000 feet. I might have evaded him. Yeah, that was close, guys. <laughs> That was close. Con, knuckle formed. So I'll keep doing these knuckles. It's that torpedo's going off the other way, but it could turn back around. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing Con, these knuckle formed. little knuckle maneuvers. It's gonna come back around. I wonder if I can get far enough away. Con, knuckle formed. So he won't detect me. It's, uh, he's in my baffle, so I can't see him anymore. He looks like he it has lost me, so that's good. Woo! There you go, a little excitement. Con, knuckle formed. A little excitement there for you, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we were going to get hit. I really did, because that thing was just coming in. I was changing my uh, my depth, going deep, going shallow, trying to break it, left, right, knuckles, you name it. Drop some noisemakers. Drop two noisemakers. That was that was that was fun. So there you go. Cold waters, awesome game. Lots of different missions that you can do with it. Different uh, settings. I think I'm. I have this set on normal intermediate setting you can do hard and there's an easy setting um, lots of different things to do if you loved red storm rising like i did you would love cold waters i'm pretty sure you would if you're seeing this video you know what i'm talking about you played red storm rising let me know what you think put some comments down below i'd love to meet some like-minded people that are into this kind of stuff that's kind of why i'm doing this channel and that's it we got away. Should we do an emergency blow just for fun? You can see what that looks like. Ready? Here we go. Emergency surface the ship. Die by. We're gonna come up fast. And the enemy aircraft Passing is still one thousand feet. They're probably gonna blow us up. <laughs> because Passing nine hundred feet. Once you do this, you have to repressurize your ballast. Passing eight hundred feet. And that takes time. That means we're going to be stuck on the surface. Feet. Passing 600 feet. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Passing 300 feet. Here we come. Passing 200 feet. Passing 100 feet. Wah. There we go. Very cool. See, now I'm stuck up here. I can't dive. Con, charging high pressure air banks after emergency blow. Unable to dive. Yeah. There you go. You get the idea. Cold waters. Let's get out of here. Aircraft nearby. See, there was a Ming. That's a submarine. A, a Chinese sub was out there and it was undetected. So, that's the way it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.